first piece of advice I would offer would be definitely explore your options. Um, so things like internships, cooperative education, volunteer opportunities, um, attending information sessions and getting out and networking. Um, it's a great way to make connections in industry. Ask the questions like what does your job look like? How did you get to where you are? And get advice on career paths because it's the people who have gone before who really know what's going on in the industry and they can give the most valuable advice. There is such a wide range of things that you can do in supply chain and that's one of the really nice things about being in this area is that you can start off in one area and move around a fair amount and uh, find what really works for you. And the other thing that I like about supply chain is that it's across all industries. Um, so you don't have to stay in one particular industry in order to be in supply chain and you can transfer those skills uh, as, you, uh, as you move through your career. My advice would be to learn as much as, as possible about the industry, opportunities, pe meet people at various stages of their career and learn what they liked, what they did not like and make your own conclusions. Is that the industry for you? If that's yes, uh, what's your ultimate goal? what's your plan and, and, and go from there. Don't accept traditional employment methods. Uh, look for employment opportunities, look for contract opportunities, look at perhaps self-employment or entrepreneurial options because that will open so many doors. So if I was to give some advice to a young person looking for a job in supply chain or, or starting their career, I would say find a mentor, learn all you can from that mentor. I would look at building the foundation of what you need to know for the role that you'd like to have and follow your passion. So if you're passionate about something and you find the people around you that can support you, you'll find where your niche is and you'll succeed because you have the network around you. So network, network, network. Building out your network, trying to continue to grow yourself as an individual, so building out your soft skills because those will be perfect in almost any job opportunity that you're looking for, but then also trying to see, well, what else can I do to give back? So that idea of trying to make a difference too, because I think that'll help them. Exercise some patience in terms of learning, um, what the expectations are, uh, share your ideas, and um, I think that uh, it's, it's to find very creative ways in being able to contribute value and to demonstrate that to people who will recognize you for that. But a question that I think that we should be asking ourselves too is not what can they do for me, but what can I do for that organization? What am I really, really good at? And what type of like technical skill set can I build? so that I am making myself indispensable for this industry so that they would want me to work for them. Not necessarily me wanting to work for them, I want to work for them too, obviously I'm applying for a job, but I want to be so useful to them that they cannot get rid of me. And that's how you will be climbing up the social ladder and the, like, the business ladder. Trust yourself ethically to work hard because that's respected and attitude means everything. <laughs>